Hi, it's Mary Jo. I just want to come and encourage you in scripture today. And I wanted to remind you that we always have to put our strength, get our strength from God. The joy of the Lord is our strength. And the joy is knowing that He's coming back to get us and that He's taking care of us. And it's as much as you want to believe it. It's all by what you believe. Jesus said it over and over and over again in the Bible. It's not... You can't get your joy and your strength from your spouse, your parents, your children, your best friend, your pastor, any anybody but God. Are you just going to be let down? And we can look um, how David in 1 Samuel chapter 30, where they had came in and took taken all the women um, from their where they lived. And David was very, all the men were very upset. If you look in verse, um, verse 6, chapter 30, verse 6. David was greatly distressed because the men were talking of stoning him. Each one was bitter in spirit because of his sons and daughters. But David found strength in the Lord his God. We got to remember, we cannot find strength in anyone else but God alone. And if you look, David goes straight to God to ask him what to do in this situation. We tend to want to first ask ourselves, make up a plan in our head, what are we going to do? And I'm a list maker myself, so I'll start taking notes. Well, I'm going to do this and this and this and that, you know. And then you ask your spouse or your parents, your best friend, asking everybody what to do. You got to go straight to God. And as David said, and David, in verse 8, inquired of the Lord, Shall I pursue this raiding party? Will I overtake them? See, our, our emotions get hit. These are his wives. Of course, his flesh probably was, wanted to leave uh, yesterday to go after them. But what did he do? Even though that's the worst thing that could happen, and we think we got to go straight after something, something terrible happened, you got to go to God. The world says, yes, that's your wife. Go, chase, get them, kill them. But the Bible says, inquire of the Lord first, because without him you are nothing. We got to put our trust in God first, our love for him. He comes first over all, everything. And I hope and encourage you to think of that next time you're going through something. Just go straight on your knees and ask God what He wants you to do. God bless.